Hey, welcome back to Trogley's Guitars. Today we have a classic custom, one I've always been wanting to take a look at here. I've been lucky to get some really cool guitars lately here. This one is a 2014, and it is in a gorgeous wine red with just the awesomest wood grain flame pattern that you will see in person. It shows up really dark, However, if I turn the brightness way up, you'll see what I'm talking about here. It just has a very evil look to it with the, the darks, with the reds. It's just awesome in person. There we go. Now we can see it a little bit better. Uh, everything's stock on this one. Very light play wear. There are a few nicks around the body. Uh, most prominently one right there and I think the biggest gash is right there so if you can live with a few little light dings you'll be okay uh, this is the original case have your warranty truss rod tool all that uh, very sturdy case but being a very sturdy case it also weighs a hundred million pounds which I find it strange because some of these don't weigh as much. But that one weighs a lot. Okay, so this is a classic custom. They basically fused a standard into a custom and then put a flower pot inlay on it. I, I really love the idea of the flower pot inlays because you really can't get those on a Les Paul custom until or a Les Paul in general, until very recently. These are more for like uh, high-end arch top guitars, things like that, that had the flower pot inlay. So up here, there, there's a few little light scratches here. I don't know if I'll be able to get them to show up. There's one right above the flower pot. You don't have any major wear on the frets. And it's a fairly new guitar, so shouldn't have any issues there. And I do believe these are the Rich Light fingerboards, which feel and play just fine. Nobody really cares unless you're on the internet about Rich Light. I guess the other thing I forgot to mention up here uh, is the, the lacquer is kind of bubbling right there along the binding. Back to here. You do have some picking scratches on the pick card. It's doing its job. And some picking slash polishing scratches on the body here. But nothing too major. And just that one ding on the side. Some scratches on the front here. Nothing too bad. Original electronics, which is the PCB board. You can always change those out if you don't like them, but I think it sounds just fine. The back is more of a lighter cherry red, compared to the front anyways. And if we were comparing this to a cherry sunburst, I'd probably say this is, you know, a darker SG type color. There's your serial number. No breaks, cracks, and or repairs. Gorgeous wood grain here. And the back's pretty clean. Go over this with the light. I mean, just the usual light wear from a belt buckle. I'm not sure why Gibson went to these uh, reptilian scale uh, backing plates, but they did. All the other ones I've seen had them too. That's quite an interesting thing they've done there. So if you're looking for a Les Paul custom styled guitar, but with the kind of the look of a standard as far as fretboard goes, I mean, this one's for you. It's going to be cheaper than a custom. And these are definitely going to become collector's items because they've started to skyrocket in value to say the least. Very limited edition made and the most 
valuable sought after ones are the flower pot and the ones with the custom logo. So grab yourself a unique one today and feel free to visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Troglys, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That is where you can find my best price available on this guitar, or rather we can discuss my best price available and answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.